Maths Week 4 Long Division. First, check you have found and read these downloadable lesson notes shown in Week 4. We're going to work through the example question found at the start of these notes. And it says divide 3627 by 13. And because this is a longer number, for example, we're dividing by 13, it's a two digit number, we need to use long division rather than short division. Um, this is very like short division. We use a, a bus stop method. But in this, um, in this method, we show our workings as we progress through the sum. And here on in your notes, you've got an explanation of how this works. And underneath you can see a, an example sum and the steps we use in the sum. And that's what we're going to run through now as well. So the first thing we're going to do is set up the sum. And remember it said 3,627 divided by 13. And the first thing we do is set up our bus stop, if you like. Um, and to do that, we need to place the number we're dividing by, called the divisor, on the far left. We're dividing by the number 13. And the number, the larger number that we're going to divide up, 3,627, goes inside our bus stop. So I need to draw our bus stop first. It looks a bit like a bus shelter. And we put the number inside. Give it plenty of space because we're going to be doing quite a lot of workings out and leave space on top for your answer. I would leave space to the right as well because you, you may need to do some workings out as you go along. In fact, it's quite a good idea to keep track of, in this case, the 13 times table so that we can see how many 13s go into each of the numbers we're going to look at. So now that I've set up my sum, what I'm saying here is 3,627 3, divided by 13. Um, but to make it easier, we're going to use a step-by-step -step approach and break up this number, starting with the number 36 divided by 13. So 36 divided by 13, or how many 13s will go into 36? I know that 1 13 is 13, and 2 13s is 26, and 3 13s will be 39. Now, I can't fit 3 13s into 36 then. I can only fit 2 13s. So my, the number 2 um, goes in the answer space on top of the bus stop. But 2 13s is 26. So the number 26 goes underneath the 36 and we use that to find the remainder to continue the sum. So to find the remainder, I can see here straight away that 36 take away 26 is going to be 10. But you can also use a column subtraction. 6 take away 6 is 0, 3 take away 2 is 1. So my remainder is 10. Now in the short um, division, we would put our remainder up here in front of the next number. But because our numbers are longer, it becomes too complicated. In long division, we spread out our workings moving down the page. So that two moves to our, um, our remainder instead and creates the number 102. And that's our next number to divide up. So now we say 102 divided by 13. Well, how many 13s can I fit into 102? So I'm going to keep going with my 13 times table. Um, 1 3 is 13, 2 3 is 26, 3 3 is 39, so four, uh, 3 13s are 39, 4 13s are 52, 5 13s are 65, I have to keep going, 6 13s are 78, 7 13s 91 and then 8 13s will be 104. Now I can see that's too many so I can only fit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 13s into 102. So 7 goes on top of the bus stop. 
Now, remember 7 thirteenths is actually 91. So that number goes underneath the number we're dividing, our, our div uh, dividend. And again, we're going to use that to find our remainder. There's my sum. 2, take away 1, is 1. Nothing, take away 9, can't do. Let's take that one. There's now nothing in there. 10, take away 9 is 1. So I have 11 remaining. And again, instead of putting the 11 up here, our 7 moves all the way down, our final number, to make 117, which we divide by 13 now. How many 13s will fit into 117? Well, I know that 8 13s was 104, so I'm very close. One more 13 will make 117. So 9, that means 9 13s fit exactly into 117, and that leaves no remainders, which means my final answer is 279.